talk about defensive backs. You've got safeties, middle of the field, you've got cornerbacks on the edge. There are some important cognitive differences and priorities that separate the safeties and the, the defensive backs. Uh, let's talk about some of those differences. Yeah, I think the defensive back position um, is one of the most cognitively demanding positions on the field. And the data show that. Um, these high-end safeties and corners in college and, and pro football are elite in their decision-making and cognitive skills. What we're also learning is that the defensive back position is complicated. There's a lot of different duties and responsibilities, the differences between a press corner, a nickel, a zone safety, all of those have different cognitive demands. The most important skill though for these guys tends to be improvisation. So we're always lining up with something expected is going to happen, but that never happens in the defensive backfield. We're always having to, uh, to, to make a decision because the corner fell down. Now I've got to decide, do I cover that assignment or do I uh, drop back in zone? Um, we've got to filter through the complexity, both of those positions, we've got to filter through the complexity of if this happens and this happens. So if the wide out does this and the tight end does this, here's what I do. We've got to make those decisions quickly. So improvisation and decision complexity are really, really critical for uh, defensive backs. Now, now we start to get into the individualized piece. Defensive backs that are used in those tight situations, the press, the, uh, the man v man, what we've seen is that perception speed is important for those guys. They're lined up right up against the receiver, right up at the line. Um, lower perception speed has been correlated with more PI calls. Things are happening fast and they just they have to adjust or grab a jersey or something like that. So that's really critical. Also, that press guy, distraction control is absolutely critical. You've got to lock in on your man and you can't get your attention diverted by wanting to peek at the QB or a tight end coming across the middle and it just takes your attention away. Now, those zone guys, primarily safeties and nickels and those guys that may drop back in zone coverage, we're asking those guys to not focus their attention, but they need to broaden their attention. So tracking capacity becomes absolutely instrumental at the safety position. You want somebody to be able to drop back in zone, keep track of sideline to sideline, where the quarterback is, maybe a running back coming out of the backfield and a wide receiver. You've got all of this information that you need to keep uh, in, in mind and watch the whole time. So there are different cognitive demands for each different defensive back position. The last shared cognitive skill is impulse control. Why is that so important for a defensive back? Two reasons, both you know, at the corner position, especially if we're on a man-v-man -man situation, that really governs our ability to, to not fall prey to that double move. Mm -hmm. Really quality receivers have phenomenal moves that create this impulse to bite. So the best in the game have to shield themselves. Now when you're playing zone, the classic misdirection where you're running a, a misdirection or reverse or even a play action, those plays invite an impulse to go get the back. Right, So that's why play action pass is so effective is that um, we bite on that and then a receiver gets behind us. So impulse control, absolutely critical at both of those positions. You know what's really interesting is that the defense is at a disadvantage. They don't know what's coming, right? They can anticipate, try to narrow down the plays that can run from this formation but there's always an element of uncertainty and unpredictability. So it's not surprising that defensive backs have to have great improvisation. They've got to have great impulse control. They've got to be able to execute decisions very quickly um, to deal with this uncertainty. 